What am I doing with this project? Well, as you can see, this is liquid licorice extract, organic licorice root. Glycerisa gallerera. I have 50, 55.2 grams, I lost a few grams in, in water. And I'm making aromatherapy with it in water. 56 in 700 and, and 700 milliliters of water. And I'm heating it, but it's so compact. And I also put in, as a preservative, 20 grams of, of, of sodium eta and about 10 grams of potassium chloride, but that clumped up and made it so it's hard to stir. I'll show you what, it, what I mean by difficult. It will stir for a bit, for a few minutes, and then it will stop stirring because it's too much for it to handle. There's nothing wrong with stir, stir, with the hot plate of stir rod, it's just that it's too much for it to stir together. And I've, I've used these graduated, graduated flat, flasks To measure out 250 millimeters times two, then I use another, another one that's not shown to measure up to 750. So I use three of these. I put that in. So this is about 750 millimeters of water with about 56 grams of extract. If I take off this stopwatch, if I take off this stopper and snow, I can really smell the, the potent licorice extract even a few hours into it and I'll, I'll test the temperature to see what temperature it is 71 72 degrees Celsius and the hot plate is 200 degrees Celsius. It's fluctuating because it's it because there's a there's a movement of air on the stirring but I can tell it's working properly and if you look into it and you zoom into this thing even closely and come a little bit closer with the chair you can see that these sub particles are basically absorbing uh, absorbing the ketones and the aldehydes and different organic materials that give the licorice smell I don't know what exactly does that, but there's, there's oils, but I assume the oils are at 2 to 3 percent. But I don't know if the oils create the aroma itself. I'm not sure in this situation. See? Now it stops stirring because there's too much, too much of the soap inside this, inside the, this, 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 uh, this flask. This, this one liter, two jointed flask. But it, it works very well and I can smell it and I know if I continue doing this for hours and hours and hours, I'll be able to get a, a nice aroma, and then I'll put it into a, into a, into one of these bottles like this. Put it outside and freeze it for a bit with tween and uh, glycerol to get the materials to precipitate out. I might put it in a glass bottle instead, but that will be what my plan is: is to is to preserve it in at four to six degrees Celsius to protect the aroma, so it's not degraded by other bacteria or yeast that are naturally in the air. Thank you for watching this.